Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we will see about analysis of similarity using our software. The purpose of analysis of similarity is just to test if there is a statistical uh, significance difference between the species community of two or more groups of a uh, sample. And this test that means analysis of similarity is similar to an over hypothesis test, but, it's, uh, uh, but it uses a dissimilarity matrix as an input instead of uh, a row uh, data. And uh, this test also it is an uh, parametric. So this gives us some advantage like we don't assume uh, much much about our what data so we will not uh, have a concern regarding the homogeneity of variance and normality assumption so no need to check uh, such like uh, things so as an non-parametric test analysis of similarity or anonymism uh, use a ranked dissimilarity instead of what their uh, actual uh, distance and the main point of the, uh, the analysis of similarity or uh, test is what to determine if uh, if there is a difference between two or more uh, groups are significant or not. So as usual, you have to import your uh, data. I already imported uh, my data, and my data name is eco eco, and it starts from the column one uh, up to column thirty. Uh, is the species uh, abundance, but the remaining five columns are uh, starting from A1 and with uh, manure are what they are uh, uh, factors. So the first thing I just uh, uh, tell to R uh, to consider column one up to column 30 as what? As only species abundance and I represented by uh, COM or COM. Then again, as I mentioned before, it is uses what? Uh, as a dissimilarity ranked value as what as a uh, matrix instead of row data so you have to convert using as dot uh, matrix then comments uh, from the echo data i just tell to r to select uh, the first uh, 30 columns and represent the 30 columns by what by uh, com so do this one and i represented the matrix uh, m underscore which is standards for m for the uh, uh, COM. So type this and submit to our studio. Type this one, again, uh, this one. So we already uh, specifying the species uh, abundance. Again, also we converted the species abundance into uh, data matrix using as uh, dot matrix. Then in order to compute the analysis of similarity in R in vegan package, you have to use the function uh, anonymism analysis of similarity and it is followed by the uh, data uh, matrix and again it is followed by the column that contains the grouping information of the, the sample so in our case is a uh, management and here is the distance it is uh, I selected uh, the Bray and the similarity measure is uh, is a Bray then again here is the permutation that means the number of permutation then with the data uh, to be uh, uh, determine or to be uh, uh, significant is around uh, 10,000 which is 9,999 uh, so type this and submit to our studio then let's uh, wait a bit yeah then run this one so as you can see here uh, there is uh, two outputs as you can see here the first one is the R value and the second one is uh, the uh, p uh, value or significance by which is 0 0.01 and this number is less than 0 0.05 so we reject an hypothesis and we conclude that there is statistically significant difference among what the group of the uh, samples and again uh, here r which is 0 0.257 there is three values r close to zero suggested that an even distribution of higher and uh, lower rankers within and between uh, the group when r is close to one indicate that there is a dissimilarity uh, between the group so the higher the r it is the more what dissimilar and uh, let's uh, proceed since it is significant when significance means we, re we are rejecting the null hypothesis and we are considering that there is statistical significant difference among the group in a species 
uh, abundance. So if you want to find out which species are uh, uh, found statistically more abundantly in one group versus with another group, so you have to use the uh, indicate or uh, indicate a species function. So you have to install this function using this code. I already have the uh, package, so type uh, this and submit to our studio. So in order to compute the indicator species analysis, you have to use the multipath function. The multipath function helps you to indicate which species are abundant in which uh, group. So I already, this is a data name is our the species abundance is called. Again, I indicate here the grouping factor is management and the function is uh, I, I used here is allergy and the number of uh, permutation is, is around mm, 10,000. Uh, so type this and uh, submit to our studio. Let's wait a bit. Yeah, still is loading. Until then, uh, let's discuss something. The management is the BF which stands for the biological farming, the HF stands for hobby farming, the NM stands for the nature conservation management, and the F, the SF stand, uh, stands for standard farming. So let's summarize, let's get the result by using the summary function and write the uh, I and V. Yeah. So as you can see here, uh, as you can see here, out of uh, total 30 species, remember that we have 30 uh, species, 11 are what statistically significant, and out of 11, uh, the seven associated with what? The number of species associated to the group one is seven, to the group two is uh, uh, zero, and to the group three is what? Uh, four, so seven plus four is, uh, uh, 11 and uh, when we come to the grouping BF BF is what is a biological farming the biological farming the three species are what abundant again in the group HF the room H this these two are what uh, so these two are what abundant again uh, even the this one is more abundant to what to this uh, uh, one. When we're coming to the standard farming or SF, which stands for standard farming, again, the two species are abundant. When we come to the combination of here is uh, biological farming, hobby farming, and uh, the nature one is uh, this species is what this species is uh, abundant. When we're coming to the biological farming, uh, the hobby farming, and standard farming, the three, the pottery, the pauperate, and lowly prey are what? They are abundant. So by this way, you can complete analysis of similarity as well as the uh, species abundance uh, or indicator of species analysis using our software. Thank you for watching. Have a nice time.